Namaste beautiful yogis. Welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga. I'm Ali and today we are doing a functional movement yoga inspired class and we're bringing the dumbbells back for some of the circuits. So it is going to be good for all levels with a meditation on the current situation. Um, at the end of the class. So I will be sharing classes on here so that we can all stay connected to truth and laugh and get through these times of uh, panic and uh, stress and anxiety centered, connected to truth and with uh, uplifted, elevated energy so that we are able to continuously evolve and awaken in times that call for awakening. So I hope you enjoy the class and the meditation. Let me know how you like the class in the comments below and remember to flow with strength and ease. Starting at the front of the mat, roll the shoulders back and down, lift through the crown of the head, pull the belly in, opening and widening the back feel it as if it's being pulled pulled and stretched out widened connecting core mula bandha containing containing the energy containing the vessel Inhaling into the heart and with each breath, drawing energy into the heart as well and filling your vessel. Imagine the pelvis as a vessel. Mulabanda really holding everything together and filling your vessel with prana, with energy, with love. meditating or contemplating, contemplation on being love. So shifting from inhaling love as a visual to being love as a visual. You being the love, you exuding that light Inhale the hands over the head. Exhale, folding. Inhale, look ahead of you. Step back, plank. Lower down, Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Chaturanga. Downward facing dog. Meditating on love again, breathing love, every particle around you being love, everything being love, you being love, each breath, each molecule in the air, in the body, each particle. Feeling or creating a sensation of expansion in the body, openness. Inhale the right leg up. Step it through, high lunge, big breath in, 
Exhale down. One legged plank with the knee tuck. And we're going to touch the right knee to the right triceps and then spin it to the left and right and left and right left four four five five six six seven seven eight eight nine nine ten ten step it through again high lunge Exhale, lay down. Knee tuck in plank. And we're going to, <laughs> here we're going to spin the calf out and in. And keep it to your right. So one, one, two, two. As if you're trying to bring the calf to the forearm. Four, five, five, six, six. Seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Step it through, warrior one. Exhale down, knee tuck, and we're gonna lower the knee down to the mat and up. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh. Step it. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Take the left leg up, step it through, high lunge, exhale down, knee tuck, and we're gonna go left to right, one, two, one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, Eight, nine, nine, ten. Ten, step it through, high lunge. Exhale it down, knee tuck, and lower it down and bring it back up. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Step it through. Warrior one. Exhale down. Chaturanga. Up dog. Chaturanga. Down dog. And 
and after the short break really squeeze your knee in uh, sorry squeeze your belly in plank and we're gonna do the calf in and out one one two two three three four four five five six six seven seven eight eight nine nine ten ten high lunge this time instead of going into plank we're gonna straighten the legs take the white side of the mat and do a few pulses in plie one two three four five six seven eight nine ten plie and reach over to one side one two three four five six seven eight nine ten opposite side one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and step at the front lower down sit back and here we're going to do higher navasana but only with one leg and then bring the knee in one two three four five opposite side one two three four five lower down round the back and one legged navasana again knee in navasana lower back on the floor one two three four five opposite side one two three four five and come up grab your dumbbells step back in plank dumbbell plank spread the feet out and let's go right side triceps lift one two three four five six seven eight nine ten now if your dumbbells you can hold them you can be on the ground and just use them if they're different style one two three four five six seven eight nine ten step it at the front always careful of how you lift and come up with weights we're gonna go into a deadlift variation if you have any issues with your back do it with no weights at all and just focus on your hinging form so everything is hinging from the hip joint up robotic style movement i like to call them so here we're gonna go two legged deadlift and then cross back lunge with staggered knees deadlift so let's go only one side one one two two three three four four five five six six seven seven eight eight nine nine ten ten a little upper body um 
circuit so we're gonna alternate keep your elbows not moving so we're not swinging here but we are just squeezing the biceps as hard as we can and alternating one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine twenty flies one again elbows leading squeezing the shoulders one two three four five six seven eight nine ten shoulder presses one two three four five six seven eight nine ten biceps one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine twenty flies one two three four five six seven eight nine this is as far as i can go ten shoulder braces one squeeze the belly in two three four five six seven eight nine ten one last round let's go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine twenty flies let's see how many we can get out of the shoulders one two three four elbows leading five six seven eight nine ten shoulder presses one two three four five six seven eight nine ten Ooh. time for deadlifts this was good hinging you can leave your weights behind if you're uncertain one one two two three three four four five five six six seven seven eight eight nine nine ten ten just take one weight come down onto your knees bring the weight into your inner knee and let's go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten out one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one more one two three four five six seven eight nine ten opposite side one two three four five six seven eight nine ten out one two three four five six seven eight nine 
10. One last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Remove the weight, lay down onto your belly. And here we're going to lift, lift the legs, the feet up, squeeze the body. Two, three, try to lift the heels at the top. Four, five, squeeze, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come up and the Pilates moment. One, two, you can lean forward. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we want one slightly out the leg, one straight back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 opposite sides, straight back. This time, or let's uh, start with out. One, two, three, squeeze. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Straight back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Coming to the front of the mat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, dive. Inhale, walk ahead. Plank. Chaturanga. Upward dog. Chaturanga. Downward dog. Inhaling through the heart. Inhale the right leg up and open it. Bring it down. Wild thing. Side plank. Knee ducks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight nine ten lower down and we're going to lift right hand to left foot one two three four five six seven eight nine ten down dog take the left leg up step it behind wall thing side plank knee ducks one two three four five six seven eight nine ten lower down one inner thigh work two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And plank. Chaturanga. Up dog and down dog. And step at the front. Come up. We're gonna go for a little run. 
So flex your feet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. In here, we're gonna roll into plank and jump up. Two. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And it's going to plow now. Rolling out, grab your weights, straight back another combo. So here we're gonna go squat, deadlift, slightly bent or bent knees. However, it works for you, it could be bent lifts, bent knees. So squat, Deadlift, squat, press, squat, deadlift, squat, press, squat, deadlift, squat, press, squat, deadlift, squat, press, squat, deadlift. Squat, press, squat, deadlift, squat, press, just a few more, deadlift, last one, and side jumps, we'll start with right knee bending left hand on the floor knee to elbow either with a hop or without so either with a hop or without let's go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten Opposite side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep the heat going, side to side, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. White stands. We're gonna touch the left side, reach to the right. Two, three, opposite side. One, two, three. Clasping above. Reaching over to one side and to the other. One more time. Exhale down. Inhale, look ahead. Plank. And 
and last interval I promise <laughs> we're gonna do push up jump in push up jump in push up three four five six seven eight nine ten and plank let's bring the right foot in for a pigeon open twist to the right look over the right shoulder keep that length hold it here So imagining your aura is your residence, the place you reside in, beginning to see it, to visualize your residence, your aura is your residence and the texture, the quality of it being love. So you're residing in love the fabric of of your soil the soil you're in is love love that has a feel a texture a look, a frequency, a vibration to it fills you in from the inside out and from the outside in. You're filling your heart and every cell in your body with love uh, and <laughs> you become love because the truth of the matter is that we are love but we have forgotten that and we're not all acting as if we're love coming back to the truth of who we are and the truth in this in the grand scale of existence in this earth in this universe feeling love as the fabric of reality that builds each and every particle in this reality until you feel that there is nothing else but love it fills every nook and cranny every corner every cell every forgotten place it's like air moving and filling up a room and going into the forgotten places seeing yourself as capable to change the course of the world just by raising your own frequencies your own vibrations by tapping into the frequency of love residing there being love and thus shifting everything around you the power of love the power of the individual is grand and we all have to realize that and we'll have to understand that the best immunity building is contemplating being love cultivating love returning to the truth of our being
in times like this when we're called to shift our consciousness to awaken the path the course of action the path to awakening is through love it's more complicated complicated and far more simple both than we imagine it is so coming up lift open and take your time to change sides to twist to lengthen to lower down to actively rest you can close the eyes and begin to imagine that as you are in your bubble of love interconnected with all the other bubbles of love that contain all of existence also seeing how you're shutting down anything that's not in the frequency of the frequency of love you're beginning to shut it out it's all outside of that bubble and it cannot penetrate it cannot penetrate your residence the sphere you occupy the place you reside in and anything that feels bad that shows you that it is not coming from truth when we tune in online on the news and if there is news that do not feel good in the body that is your body telling you this is not coming from a place of love this is the truth twisted just enough to lower your frequency even if there is a grain of truth in there most of it is coming from a really low place of consciousness so we have to preserve our awareness consciousness soul and connect only with the frequencies that elevate us while being informed while choosing our sources these are great exciting times of awakening revolution even shift of consciousness through the masses and we're a part of it we're blessed to be a part of it and to be the doers and shakers and makers of the new and we have the golden opportunity to awaken to elevate our consciousness so this is times to get excited to reconnect with truth rather than scared about about the noise the opportunity is real and it goes both ways there is opportunity also to get lost in the noise an opportunity to elevate and open up and awaken awaken by reconnecting to truth this is a culmination of sorts transitional times gateways in which the opportunities are big and those are big opportunities for the soul and coming out you can do a few hip circles here lay back onto your back and you can just move the knees side to side soles of the feet together In times when there is mis massive shifts and changes in society and in consciousness, those are evolutionary positive times, regardless of how they feel. On a small level, 
evolutionary this is a positive time for awakening for reconnecting with the truth of our own being for stepping out of our selfish ego mind and feeling and becoming one with all embodying the concept embodying the practice everything that we've been practicing and studying now it is time to embody it, to be it. To feel love as you're the force that is moving you, the force that is you. And we teach in every action you take to come from love first. We teach in every thought you have first to experience love and then to move forward with every other emotion. You don't have to deny yourself feelings or emotions, but first connect with love and then the rest. And in these times when we're bombarded with information and noise, to always see how your body feels with each and every piece of information. And if something feels bad, crush it because your body is telling it it's not connected to truth. Only connect with the things that elevate you and make you feel good. And when you feel that your soul is on a, an awakening path, everything opens up through there and everything becomes positive and exciting. We have been waiting for shift in society and the time is here and it is now and it was starting. And that is what we've been waiting for. It is a positive shift. And it may not feel positive all the way through in each and every moment, but the results will be positive and we are here ultimately to awaken the soul because once we're off this plane all that we will take with us is the soul and how awakened evolved we became with the time that we were given here everything else will be meaningless and useless so now is the time to do the real work the soul work and to worry less because the real work should take center stage and the mantra right now is I am love as you're inhaling through the heart love and as you're exhaling through the heart love Love coming from your being and love coming from the oneness of all outside from us and inside in us, which is all the same. We're gonna go ahead and repeat this mantra. I am love. 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 Lift your legs with the help of your hands. Stepping the feet on the floor, knees up. Roll onto your side. Push yourself up. Inhale the hands over the head. Exhale them over the third eye for always seeing the truth, being guided by the truth. Over the throat, we're always expressing and speaking the truth, creating from a place of truth. And over the heart, for being truth, for being love. And let's bow to our hearts for their compassion, forgiveness, and love. Namaste.
ますと。